Now, Apple, Apple, Apple. So after using this for today, today's my first day of using, today's the first day of me using an iPhone in six years, five years, six years. And I'm going to leave my opinions. I'm going to leave my review of this. I'm going to save it for a video I should be uploading in the next day or so. Uh, my first thoughts, initial reaction, all that good stuff. But when it did dawn on me that I could not change my Apple ID. Now, for those of you that don't know, my original, my OG Apple ID has been blocked. So Apple blocked my original iCloud uh, account that I've been using for years after I made the nothing uh, messages app and iPhone app messaging video. Uh, after I put that out, what do you know? Mysteriously, I cannot sign into my iCloud account anymore. Hmm, wonder why, Apple. So it dawned on me that I got to pick, well, I'm not going to tell you what I did, but I found a workaround, Apple. I found a workaround. I'm in. I'm using this, so I logged in. But I did know that I had to choose wisely because I was not able to change it, right? After you select an Apple ID, it's going to stay that way, right? Well, guess what? <laughs> it looks like you're going to be able to change it now. So... In the upcoming software version, iOS 18.1, that new iOS version will let users change and or delete iCloud.com primary email addresses. So if you have a eSIM studios at iCloud.com, that's not it, um, you will be able to change it to um, computer studios at iCloud.com. Right, which is a big change because Apple's been Apple has not uh, allowed you to change your Apple ID for years, I think, for, since forever. And actually, they're changing the name. So instead of Apple ID, it's going to be called Apple Account. That's correct. So officially, Apple they're going to retire the term and the name Apple ID, and they're going to and they're going to rename it, rebrand it to your Apple account and they're going to do that in connection with being able to change it to whatever you want um upon app uh, excuse me upon ios 18.1 whenever that gets released i think it's supposed to release here sometime before the end of the year um it says as of a ios 18.1 Users can change the primary email address associated with your Apple account, formerly known as Apple ID, and use either new ad and use either a new address or the prior one for logging in. Previously, users was would have to delete their old primary email and re-verify their identity in order to pick a new one. What a hassle. Even if you used an alias, the primary email address could still be seen by others when uh, users send requests to share or collaborate with documents. The same applies to sending invitations to events via the calendar app. Very interesting. This change, first spotted by Mac Rumors, allowed those who picked a flip art at iCloud or at Mac.com or at me.com, never heard of that, or have simply outgrown the old primary email address, or maybe you have a new business that you want to go by, or maybe you started a YouTube channel that you want to go by. The move by Apple also allows users for the first time to turn off a primary iCloud email address in addition to the option of deleting it. So be on the lookout for that iOS 18.1, I believe gets released let's find out ios 18.1 release date let's see ios 18.1 release date things are firming up for a big halloween week for apple with the company's next operating system 
reportedly coming early in the next week. Ahead of those launches, we've recently seen what appears to be one of the most significant physical product leaks in years uh, with the new MacBook. Okay, so here's what they're going to do. Apple iOS 18.1 software version with Apple AI is going to be released on October 28th. So in roughly two weeks, we shall get iOS 18.1. So if you've been dying to change your Apple ID and now new uh, newly named Apple account, you will be able to do so on October 28th. 